Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do something fun tonight and I had a little bit of problems, but I finally figured it out. <laughs> so this is a D-Ring Domino Lux, um, I want to say, and it's in that patent leather. I had bought this last year for a B6-ology, I want to say. Well, this year I have a uh, Mark's Edit Weekly notebook, and on the other end, I have a Jiboon Dailies. <laughs> so I kind of just put this in here. Um, I have all the little stickers up at the front because I like to use this as like pretty planning, pretty weekly reverse planning, decor, just all the things. Um, so I put this little paper right there so it would cover up that little image. And then I kind of just kind of used a little paper clip to tape put them pull bump pull them both back and I just kind of slipped this little vellum under um, because obviously this is just for like Christmas and stuff so I've got um, this beautiful monthly and this beautiful weekly this is a 2021 marks edit that I got second hand I really love this spread so I kind of wanted to create that but with stickers and then I've got daily over here, a little December dashboard that I did. And then these are the dailies from the Jiboon dailies that start in 2022. But I started this book earlier, um, I want to say around October 23rd. So those are the days that I've already used in it. And then I just kind of put that little dashboard there, but clipped everything together just so that way I can turn to the December dashboard. So um, I like the way they both fit in here together. I think it just does really good job. Now, this is my little hack job. I did not want to cut the cover on cover for the Jibboon, um, but you have to to kind of put it in any other, like any notebooks. I was having a hard time going through my covers, trying to figure out what could fit the cover on cover. And finally, this one came to a head. And it was fine. So what I'm going to do is a plan with me. I'm going to do reverse planning. Obviously, today is Thursday, the 9th. But I'm going to use this gray Tombow marker to kind of outline all of the um, the week. So I'm going to do Monday through Friday and kind of box it in. And um, what I'm going to essentially do is on the side, do morning, afternoon, evening, and then break up the, the times now, Jibboon, um, I mean, Mark's edit is really nice because it's very muted on the week. You don't really have a lot of colors. I know the Jibboon uh, Weekly does, and I, I just don't like that, but then I kind of do. I don't know. So I got this second, um, not second hand. I got this at a discounted price at the Little Craft Place uh, in like October, yeah, so I've got my weekly right here. I've got all the information that I can go and transfer it over since we are on Thursday. But the good thing with this type of paper, because it's just so soft and smooth, if you've never felt the Mark's Edit paper, oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. Um, I can use January through November in this book for 2022, just date, outdate um white out the dates. So what I'm doing is I'm using the data that's in my main Stology standard notebook that I use for my home. Those are the monthly books that I fill up. And I'm just grabbing the data from what happened this week. So I'm putting everything down and just kind of, and I'm going to highlight. Then I'm going to go back to each day of the week and then just kind of do a little synopsis of each day and then eventually journal at the bottom. It was really, really loud in the background. My husband and daughter were playing Sorry. They were having a, a ball. And I was just um, in my own world, just kind of playing with my stuff and writing and highlighting. And I mean, y'all, it's so therapeutic. I wanted to try to create this mood in my live that I did tonight. But man, it was so chaotic. It was all over the place. Nothing was fitting. I couldn't find anything. My cat was being crazy. 
I love my cat, but she's turning into like a little terror. And I'm like, what is happening? She was great for like the first month or two. <laughs> so anyhow, my live was all um, all over the place. So I thought I would come onto YouTube and film a more cohesive video from what I wanted to do. So I always like to set up things. I always start to use things and then I put them away for a little bit and then I bring them back out and I put them away, bring them back out. So my A6 Dology, I'm, I mean, Moleskine, I'm still loving that, but I did put my rings up for a little bit. I did introduce like a mini disc bound, but I kind of put that up too. And right now the flavor of the week is this <laughs> until I'm like, eh, I'm done with you. So, uh, I like sectioning out the gray. I like putting that gray area where it's really bold. I put on the side with a blue uh, Pilot Precise, I think V5 or something to, to denote the morning, afternoon, evening. So now all I'm going to do is go through each day and kind of put a little, you know, thing of what we did for that day. And the problem with me filming this voiceover, I can't really see what I did each day. But I do know this week I have been pretty productive. Each day we've had something, um, an event so far. I think tomorrow is the only day that I really don't have anything to do. Um, but every day this week I've had something or I've had something go off with the kids or something happen with my husband. So tomorrow I'm really trying to make it low key. I'm trying to, obviously tomorrow's the 10th, Friday. I'm really going to just try to like exercise, just walk, just, you know, watch movies, craft, homeschool my daughter, go in the backyard, like not try to go anywhere or do anything. So we shall see how that plan works. But during the week this week, it's been pretty good. I was able to homeschool a few days. I was able to, um, you know, cook. And then some days we went out. Um, there was a really terrifying thing that happened at my son's school on Tuesday. So that took up Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, it was just, I mean, I don't even care to talk about it, but it was just kind of cray cray we're definitely definitely living in crazy times um if you don't know the lord i suggest you get to know him his name is jesus and he loves you <laughs> it's just i i honestly my heart goes out to anyone that doesn't know the lord like what do you stand on like what do you do when you're completely hopeless like there's only so much of willpower and determination that one could stand on. Like, what do you, you, what do you do? I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm just so thankful that I, that I serve a God that is just mighty and holy and just loves me and that watches over me and protects me. The fact that I know that is what really helps me most days because I mean, I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I mean, I'm a stay at home mom, I take care of the whole house. And, you know, I try to take care of myself. But, you know, there's days where I'm just like, I'm gonna lose my shiz. I'm gonna lose my shiz right now. And thank God I know the Lord. And I thank God that he centers me because most days, oh my gosh. So anyhow, I don't even know why I went on to that tangent. But here I am, we introduced Marie the Elf on Wednesday. Let me see if I can I went to Target and Home Depot. We had Panera. We did our advent. I went for an evening walk. Yesterday was bomb. I did two walks. Today, I've only done one, but whatever. I might get on my treadmill or my bike here in a minute after I'm finished with this so I can rewatch this video. Um, today was pretty good. I got did breakfast. I showered. I got our, uh, me and my daughter went to get our nails done. And um, then we had an appointment. My husband came with us. We had dinner. Oh, yesterday I forgot to put, we did gingerbread houses. So that was pretty fun. Um, I'm trying to plan two different like Christmas events every week. So this weekend there's like some winter wonderland thing happening in the community. Um, I want to try to do ice skating and hot cocoa with my family next week. I'm just trying to really bring the magic of Jesus and the season. And obviously everybody knows it's at, as Christmas. So just bring that whole season together. We do Advent with our kids and they open up a small little gift each day leading up to Christmas. So I'm just trying to do those kinds of things. Um, 
here I am with my stickers. I found a whole stash. I have stickers everywhere in every setup that I set up, honestly. And I found these and um, I'm just kind of going through them. Most of, my, most of my stickers are very functional in terms of like, you know, I'm, if I'm cleaning, I'm going somewhere, if it's coffee or if it's, you know, just the stuff I like to do. So um, I'm kind of cutting this little um, little sticker here to denote my to-dos on the side. Uh, obviously, all of this my information that I'm taking from my main planner and putting it on here is is redundant. It's 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 no reason that I need it in this book other than it is fun to do. Um, there's nothing like writing and sticking stickers down and making things pretty. If you have not tried it as your therapy, you should have a separate little book that you could just go to town and sticker vomit on. It may not be your main book, but you could use your main planner to go back and reverse plan. And y'all, it is the best if you are not doing it. So I'm putting this cute little sticker that says stuck in traffic because, um, that's when, uh, let me see, what is that? Oh, because that's when my husband will be heading on home. And so he's always stuck in traffic. And I thought that would be cute to put that there. Um, I want to say those are from Ava Designs, Sweet Ava Designs. I forget her name now. Uh, I haven't checked out her sticker shop in a really, really long time. So that is a really cute sticker. I have the trash days marked. I have lived here for almost four years. And why can I not get the trash and the recycle days down in my brain storing house? I cannot. <laughs> I'm always asking my son, hey, is it trash day today? Is it recycle day today? He's like, mom. So I got my little stickers out and I put that there. Um, I do need to kind of replenish my stickers. I do have my sticker dealer that I always contact and I'm like, sis, I need some stickers. She'll go through her stash and sell them to me or sometimes she'll send them to me. But I do need to, to, to reach out to her because she's the one that gives me all the ones that are cute on Danny. Uh, Danny from Danny Panorama. She's just it. I just love her. Um, in fact, we had a live, I did a live and then I was able to chat with her tonight and we solved my conundrum with my, um, jibboon days. I was having problems with it. So anyhow, I really loved how this turned out. Um, who knows if I would keep with it for next week. I don't know. Um, I have a whole bunch of what, like two months, um, October, half of October, all of November that I did not do anything in. And I am quite okay with that. I bought this book on clearance knowing that it was going to be something like that for me. Um, same thing with my dailies. Like I could just put a sticker over the day and just go to town. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to section out the bottom. I was looking for my ruler. I like literally couldn't find it. I end up using the side of a sticker paper to put a straight line so I can... Um, you know, just journal out some them something from the day. Like I was going back onto my dailies and reading, you know, what was happening that day and just overall putting something down that um, denotes something that happened or how I felt. Like Monday, I was supposed to pluck my eyebrows, like legit pluck my eyebrows. And I kept migrating that task. Well, today when I got my nails, I was like, Hannah, freaking wax these eyebrows they're ridiculous <laughs> because I was like I'm done I'm tired I'm not gonna pluck my eyebrows because I moved my balm tweezers from my purse to downstairs in my junk drawer where I have a bunch of like red aspen nails and lip gloss and earrings and every woman has to have a junk door downstairs if you don't you need to create one well anyways I moved them to there and then I can't find them and then I'm like where's my tweezers and I'm just like okay then I'm walking around with hairy hairy eyebrows so I'm writing that down there and then like Tuesday I wrote down the whole shenanigans with my son's school and then I don't know what I wrote for Wednesday it should have been that we did gingerbread houses because they were so fun I got them from Target and because there's four of us I, it came with four little houses y'all I was a hot mess I didn't even I didn't even make a gingerbread house how about I was eating it watching everybody else make their gingerbread house 
our boy did such a phenomenal job with his gingerbread house and our daughter uh, she's five so she was just going to town having a ball decorating it but you should have saw my husband y'all he was like five again he had icing all over his fingers he was out there just having a ball and just oh my gosh it, it was so fun to watch him do that i was like honey what what is this all over your fingers there was icing everywhere all over him but he had so much fun and the kids had a blast and um i was sitting there just eating my gingerbread <laughs> So anyhow, Target has those. You guys should go and get them if you're a family of four. It's pretty cool. So yeah, that is my weekly. And I move this little takeout sticker and end up ripping the page. I move it over till Friday, tomorrow night, because I know for a fact I am not cooking. I am not cooking. I don't know what we're going to get. Maybe pizza. I don't know. But I wrote takeout. So I'm using these little happy quote stickers from Happy Planner and I'm going to go just go ahead and put a motivational quote to fill up that white space because y'all know I don't like white space. It's got to be if it's not cluttered and looks like throw up, it's not Monique. It's not me. I don't like white space. I will find any sticker and I will write Jesus loves you 5000 times. So the space is, you know, accounted for. So I put down this cute little quote. I don't even know what it says. I can't even read it at this point. You guys can read it better than I could. Um, but yeah, it just solidifies the whole week. It's just like, hi, I'm finished. It's so cute. Then I can just fill in Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, hopefully, I'll come back and show you how the week looks or maybe post it on my Instagram. If you're not following me, it's Jesus and Paper, A N D. I now have a public account where you can come follow and have fun and watch the shenanigans. Um, I'm always doing something. So that is that. And oh my gosh, I love it. And so I do go back to my daily and fix the top. As you can see that December is all smeared. I was on live doing that and my behind did just, I don't know why, I did the December, I wrote it out in a brush pen, and then I came back with a Tombow marker and then like <laughs> tried to highlight it and it went smeared it. Did. And normally I don't really care about it, but it was bothering me big time. And I just put this big old sticker right there and put December 2021. And to me, it looks and feels way better. So if you guys have any questions, of course, or if you just want to leave such a beautiful, wonderful, uplifting, encouraging comment, I just dare you to. But thank you so very much for watching. And as always, I love y'all and thank you for supporting my channel and being so awesome. Um, always watch out for the next video because I'm filmed daily. God bless you.